Hey guys, ready for Rank of Welcome to the video. In this video, going to be we're going to be reviewing the Transformers robots in this guy's Warrior Class Grimlock. So there we are, and there he is in the side. <laughs> Review coming soon. S anyway, so here is um, Deluxe Class Grimlock. He's a good toy. He's a good transformer and uh, truly really cheap. 400 pesos, Philippine pesos again, because it is in a uh, sale. Wait, hold up, I need to catch my dog. Okay, I need to catch my dog first. Hold up, guys. There you go. <coughs> Oops. In you go. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh sorry about that. Uh, so, moving right along. Here is um, Warrior Class Grimlock in his robot mode. As you can see, the face painting is great if I can get it to focus as you can see the eyes are painted really good and the face the gold face I mean the copper face is um, really nice paint so there's the um, Autobot symbol If you can get it to focus, nah. How about that? Come on, scan it. There you go. So, articulation-wise, I mean, first thing, first of all, painting-wise. So, paint. Um, really, not much to say. It is really good very um you know cartoon esque feel and by the way I am um, this is my third not third not really second deluxe I mean warrior class in my RID line so yeah articulation wise I mean, first of all, the detail, as you can see, it has really nice detail all around the figure, except for the dancer head, just like that. Ra ra ra. Wait, just a moment. Okay, I'm back. So, articulation-wise, head is on a swivel, not a ball joint. The shoulder, the arms go can go 360 degrees. Bicep swivel, ratcheted elbows. But if you tilt it like this, it is it has more bend. But if it's straight, it doesn't lock in. So it needs to be angled like that or like that. This is how I use my pose in the um, last review. Uh, Transformers robots in disguise Warrior class Scorbronok That's how I pose him In the thumbnail So yeah And No wrist swivel but It can Move Like that Like that Due to transformation, and there's no hip movement. The leg is on a universal joint. If you're, if you like Gundams, you know what universal joint is. It can go forward that far and back that far. It can go. It can do the splits. 
like that and the knees are ratcheted very soft ratchet and nice design right here oops Hasbro molded in a tail right here to make a um, symmetrical look but they didn't but they don't need to make it like that but hey I appreciate it the feet can go down do the transformation so as you know I like Grimlock in robots in disguise uh, yeah I like Grimlock in robots in disguise but in others eh, I don't know maybe I will work on it maybe they will grow on me so that's it now for the transformation first straighten up his legs and um, arms fold the dinosaur head over the he robot head oh god <sighs> grimlocker mode where? mode hey 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 okay get back here stupid grimlock okay so <laughs> next step there's a um uh, what should we call it this thing here slider yeah there's a slider here is it the slider that it can go move outwards to unlock the feet and you can move it I mean, first first of all take the oops take the foot feet up like this so it's, it's much easier to transform for the um, his left his right leg is just easy just push it all in like that and then close the feet like that in the his left leg first need to unfold the tail right here and do the same thing like what you do the same when you transform in his right leg now just sandwich this together make sure it is flat and make sure it is the right shape and place it in the place it doesn't lock in but it is tight on my figure though god zilla fetus crap this is um not great so let's just transform him all the way rotate the forearms fold up his fist fold up its dinosaur uh, arms and lastly hinge this shoulder piece to the hips right here just unpeg it and peg it right in like that do the same thing on the other side and there you have it me Grimlock Supreme I'll stop making that joke again. So, here's Grimlock in his dinosaur mode or beast mode or whatever you want to call it. <gasps> yeah. As you can see, it's not tall. Here it is with the Rubik's Cube. There's a size difference right there. It's just small. But hey, I don't care. Here it is with. Um, Scarpernock, as you can see, Scarpernock is really small. <laughs> so, articulation wise, head doesn't have any head articulation except it has some chomping action. And the arms, it has, um, it can go up that far and down that far. And 
the legs can go 360 bend at the knee that's it for the articulation so hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to hit that like button and as always thank you guys for watching and have a great day peace